So let's solve this problem. It asks, determine the force that a smooth 100 pound cylinder exerts on members A, B, and C, D. So let's find the cylinder. Is this, this appears to be the cylinder. And it has a mass or a weight of 100 pounds. So we put in the middle of it, downward force, the weight of 100 pounds. Okay. And where is member A to B? That would be this horizontal member. It's a pin connected at A and pin connected at B. And the 100 pound cylinder sits at location E, which is three foot from A and four foot from B, okay? And then let's find the member CBD. So CDB goes like this. It's L-shaped. It's pin connected at B. It has a normal contact with the cylinder at C. And uh, what is that D? What is, what is that type of support? Yeah, a roller, a roller. Okay. So, uh, just leave it the weight, 100 pounds. It's asked for, it says, determine the horizontal and vertical components of reaction at pins A and B. So we want to determine the force that it exerts on these members as well as the, the reactions at the pins A and B. Probably reread the question two or three times and then make a list of what you're asked to solve for and maybe introduce some symbols. I would say we're asked to solve for the normal reaction at C right in here. So if this member C to D to B pushes down on the cylinder, then the cylinder pushes back, equal and opposite. That's that interaction. So I'm going to say it's normal at C. And then the normal at E, that's that contact down here between the cylinder and the member A to B. And then we wanted to get the horizontal vertical components of the reactions at the pins. So maybe A, X, and A, Y, and B, X, and B, Y. So there's like six things we want to solve for. And we'll just leave this list over here to try and grow it. As we solve for some of these, we'll put, put the answers in. Okay. Um, how, what would be the first strategy or first thing to do? after we really have read the problem, we understand what we're asked to solve for, what would you do next? Free body diagram. Free body diagram of the entire system, which is our entire frame, if you want to call it a frame. Okay, so I'm going to reuse this illustration right here for my free body diagram. I'm going to come in and maybe uh, with a thicker marker, I'm going to say this is going to be I'm cutting it free from the pin at A, and so I'm going to replace that by AX and AY. And then this roller support, I'm going to cut it free. And so there's only a horizontal component, a reaction due to that roller support. So we come over here, and this is uh, maybe AX. This is AY. And this is, um, you could put normal at D. That's fine. Or you could put DX, your choice. Just some, something. And we have the weight. And again, that weight is given magnitude of 100 pounds. All right. Is there anything else for the entire, let's call it frame or the system? Did I miss anything? I think that's good, right, on the free body diagram? Um, could you solve for any of the unknowns? Um, could we solve for AX or AY or ND? Yeah, you're probably getting good at this. So probably you'd say, let's do this. I'm going to leave a little room over here for our answers. And let's do the sum of the moments about point A equal to zero. What will that allow us to solve for? ND, that's right. And ND will come in. Well, it'll be ND times a moment arm distance of two foot. That makes it spin in the counterclockwise. And then the weight at the moment arm distance of three foot makes it spin in the clockwise. So we have the ND you could solve is three halves of 100 pounds, 150 pounds. Now it wasn't asked for, but I think we're gonna need it. 
because now I can move and I can say same free body diagram, sum of the forces in the x equal to zero. That gives us that AX is equal to ND. And so AX is now solved for 150 pounds. I'll put it over here, 150 pounds. And then let's do the sum of the forces in the Y equal to zero. And we have the weight down and it's supported only by AY upward, isn't it? And so AY we solve is 100 pounds upward directed 100 pounds. Now, uh, there's a couple ways you can represent your answers. You can leave uh, the sign consistent with your choice of the free body diagram. Somebody else would have said, well, I think AY is going to be downward on my free body diagram. Then they would have had a negative answer because the free body diagram has a different direction. Okay. All right. Now, let's solve for... More. Well, you can't solve for anything else. We basically have used up that free body diagram. We need to get a, another free body diagram consistent with this chapter. We basically decompose it into members. And we get a, a, a member's free body diagram. You have three choices. You could get a free body diagram of the cylinder. You can get a free body diagram of that L-shaped member, CDB. And then you can get a free body diagram of that straight horizontal member A to B. Okay, I encourage you to draw all three and then pick which one after you look at it. But in the interest of time, let me try and draw the free body diagram of member uh, CDB. So CDB, okay. And we just solved for this one, right? And then we're going to have a normal reaction at C. Then we have something happening at that pin down here. Now, I already solved this problem, and I've given you the answers for the BX and the BY. When I first solved it, I, I put this as my positive direction for BX, and this is my positive direction for BY. Okay? So let me ch change that uh, pen to back to this. This is uh, BX. This is BY. This is ND. And this is my normal at C. I pause. I make sure that looks like a good free body diagram for that L-shaped member CBD. Did I miss anything or do you like that? Looks okay? Good. Um, probably in the interest, let's go ahead and draw the free body diagram of some other members. Let's do it for the cylinder. Maybe I shouldn't draw it like that. Maybe I should put the cylinder right here. And uh, it's going to have, let's see if I could draw this. It's going to have N sub C. It's going to have the weight. And it's going to have N sub E. All right. So come in here. That'll be N sub C, the weight equal to 100 pounds, and then N sub E. In the last free body diagram, I'm going to try and draw it right here. This will be for member A to B. And let's go ahead and put our um, A, X, A, Y. Pushing down would be N, E. And then this is my... BX that direction and BY. So let me go ahead and label them. This would be my AX, AY, NE, BY, and BX. This is a bad looking B, but there it is, BX. So you can see that my choice of BX and BY are consistent between the horizontal member and that L shaped member. They need to be. These must be consistent. Otherwise, I have a big problem in the analysis, right? Okay. All right. So, um, I think I can do... Um, let me try and figure out how I'm going to fit it all in here. So, for this CBD, 
let's do the sum of the moments around point B equal to zero for this member C, this L-shaped member. What that gives us is that N sub C times the moment arm distance of four foot, it makes it spin in the clockwise, but in the counterclockwise is N sub D with the moment arm distance of two foot. And then we can solve for N sub C, can't we? 75 pounds. So we can bring that up here, put that 75 pounds. All right. At this point, staying with that member, that L-shaped member, we could do the sum of the forces in the uh, X equal to zero, and you find that BX is negative of ND, so that BX comes in. of uh, 150, negative 150 pounds. And then uh, finishing it out, the sum of the forces in the Y equal to zero, you find that uh, BY is uh, downward, N sub C is the only thing upward, and so it's equal to N sub C, BY is 75 pounds. All right, we only have one more and the V. So uh, I want to find, I would do the free body diagram of the, the cylinder, and I would do the sum of the forces in the Y equal to zero, and we get that N sub C down plus the weight down is equal to N sub E upward, and so the normal reaction at E upward is 75 down, plus 100 down, so it's 175 down. So this is 175 pounds. Okay. That's right. So how do we decide whether to lay down the process of weight? Uh, it's when you first draw your free body diagram, you have to make a choice. And in my analysis, um, when I first solved the problem, I drew member A to B first, and then I just picked BX and BY in the positive traditional sense. And then when I went to the L-shaped member, I had to be consistent. So BY was down and BX is negative so direction. So our answer 